Here we go. Whoa! You must be the legendary traveler. I've heard a lot about you. Oh, are you following the tournament team? Who are you? It's a pleasure to meet you. Who are I'm you? Charlotte, a reporter for the Steambird from Fontaine. Charlotte. I've been posted here to cover the King of Invocations Grand Prix. Since you've also taken interest in the tournament, how would you like to be a special contributor for my column? Yeah, of course you'll receive payment. She's as so a cute. Your name will even appear in the credits. If I'm not mistaken, you're even acquainted with some of the contestants, right? Oh ho ho! I really do have an eye for a story, don't I? I love her it seems voice. Like this will be a solid piece. I can see it now. Exclusive inside scoop on the renowned traveler and secrets of the TCG tournament masters. How does that sound? Yeah, that's a nice I'm pulling. Reason, you know? <laughs> eh, it's just a working title for now. Any journalist worth their salt knows how to look past the surface and get the real story on any breaking news. But it's important to always keep the stories based on actual facts. We can always discuss more details later. Of course, I'll be covering the latest stories from She's the She's a journalist. Grand Prix, but I'll definitely be keeping my eyes open for any other potential news leads. When it comes to breaking news, I'm always the first on the scene. Anyway, I won't keep chatting your ear off. There's a lot more exciting news waiting to be uncovered. So let's have a look. Okay. She does give Yanfei vibes, mm -hmm. yes. Do my ears deceive me? Or do you two have some breaking news to share with me? Wow. So this is the King of Invocations Grand Prix? A card snatcher? Hmm. How very interesting. City on the Lake teams with <gasps> talent hey. in the TCG tournament as young prodigy Vess Favonian Cavalry Captain. Down on the ground, the dice spin around. While high in the sky, the sun shines bright. Wait. Wait, it's going to be in every region? Say your piece, challenger. I, Kaidahara Kazuha, humbly accept this duel. Inazuma's Archon bolts her way to the semifinals, only to be stunned by a crafty opponent. <laughs> the nerve. Saying that in the presence of me and A? Pink hair girlies. Well, Inazuma won't be able to reach me in Fontaine, right? You must be tired after the walk back to shore. Perhaps I should let you go first. If Miss Red Tofu with all the frills hasn't gotten too cold, I would be happy to Fox play. Cat. Tournament? The tournament has already finished. <laughs> I Fox used Cat. forbidden hand at the opportune moment. <laughs> sure Not the no selfie mode. I can't deliver to. Ah! Thank you for choosing Colony Express. Fox cat. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she's cute. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this is Sumeru? There are so many huge mushrooms here. Join me. They're big enough to lie on. <gasps> <laughs> Mia in Sumeru? No way. No way. No way. Oh my gosh. My favorite thing about Genshin is other characters, like characters going to different regions. Like cross region interaction, you know? That was that was an adorable scene. Her grabbing the traveler's hand. I do think it's interesting that they're trying to bring more hype into TCG. Like, this looks like a situation where we're all going to be forced to play TCG for Primo Gems. <laughs> and I haven't played TCG in probably a couple months. Uh, so... That's, that's, that's gonna be interesting. Um, Kirara. Kirara. Foxcat. Hello everyone! Hey! Welcome to the Genshin Impact version 3.7 special program. Thank you. I'm your host, Sarah Miller Cruz, the voice of Lumine. Yeah. And I have a new friend here with me. Make sure the truth comes first and report stories that stand out the most. 
This is reporter Charlotte from the Steambird. <gasps> Pleasure to meet you. Hey, everybody. We've heard about the Steambird. I'm Steam Tuttle, the voice of Charlotte. And as mentioned just now, Charlotte is a reporter from Fontaine, and she's currently working for the Steambird, which many of you may have probably already heard of. Yeah. Oh, for sure. It's been mentioned in several places throughout the game now. And if I remember correctly, Mona also writes a column for the Steambird. So it seems like it's pretty famous, and people all across Savannah are reading it. Yes, that's right. But I'm not the only special correspondent in our special program today. Ooh. We also have other special correspondents reporting from the field that will help us bring all the information we need about this upcoming version. So exciting! Okay, I bet everyone's ready to see what we have in store, so why don't we dive right in? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. <laughs> There's quite a lot going on in the picture here. There I is see a couple familiar faces, and let me guess, the cute one in the middle with pink hair and a camera in her hands must be Charlotte. Her right? camera's so Ooh, cute. That's right. <laughs> Charlotte's the one it's with got the a little bow tie she is a on. After all, so she's got and a hat ready at all times. So in the upcoming version, Charlotte will be appearing in the event storyline, where she'll be dispatched to cover a popular Genius Invocation TCG competition. Given that the competition is an international like a box event, bottom right. Charlotte will be heading oh. to several nations to gather these is. materials. Okay, that explains why we see so many friends from different nations in the picture here. Does that mean that she's going to be traveling around to that then? <laughs> you bet. As a foreign correspondent, she'll definitely be checking out the event venues in different locations. So cool. get ready to embark on a genius invocation TCG journey. I'm actually excited However, for this. However, a keen and active reporter like Charlotte won't only focus on the genius invocation TCG event, even though that's really important. But during this journey, she will also be investigating a very strange case alongside the traveler. Ooh, a strange case, huh? Okay, that does actually sound really newsworthy. Yeah, right? But uh, that's all I can share for now. The mystery will be yours to unveil in version 3.7. So if you want to find out what happens, then make sure you don't miss out. Yay! We hope our travelers Yay. have a great time in this event. In addition to I will. the event storyline we just I'll lose every duel, the Adventurers but Guild has also prepared some I'll have other so much fun. games to spice up the TCG tournament. That's right. There will be a total of four event game modes, including a tour of wonders, zero hour invocation, ever motion mechanical painting, and heart of the dice. In a tour of wonders, the organizer has set up checkpoints in various nations. After you complete the required challenges by navigating obstacles or defeating monsters, you'll be able to obtain commemorative stamps at the checkpoints. So collect more of these stamps during your sightseeing tour to obtain the corresponding rewards. Okay, okay. I see. So the stamps will be like proof of your experience Pokemon traveling is a sign during the event. Perhaps. You know, just like collecting stamps in a passport. Exactly. Next, we have Zero Hour Invocation, which is an unofficial tournament organized for our passionate TCG players. Mm. Unlike the official tournament matches, mm. this format adopts a special rule set so you won't be able to use your own decks. Oh. Instead, you will have to build a deck by selecting cards out of the decks prepared by the organizer. There's a Shangli card. And chances are you'll get to duel against some familiar faces. Okay. Sounds like fun already. I didn't know there was All a right. Shangli card or a Shao card. Painting and Heart of the Dice. I Hello, think Proto. Many of our travelers have played Evermotion Mechanical Painting before. But yes. This game, introduced by a dreamer from Fontaine, has undergone a few new changes. Yeah, I so saw a Shao around, card. You need to adjust Is that the new? position of the mechanical painting surfaces by swapping or rotating them first, and then install the appropriate gears on the preset points to restore the painting. Gear and I heard that the paintings <laughs> are all based on Genius Invocation TCG cards. How awesome I'll is go that? back. I'll go That's back at the end, so Waffle. Cool. I'll go back at the and end. And based on the people we've met, you should never underestimate Fox Fontaine's cat. pursuit of mechanical designs. But of course, I'm sure our keen travelers should be able to restore those paintings with just a few attempts, or more than just a few attempts. If, <laughs> if people need it, they might also. If it's <laughs> Lastly, new, they might like announce we have it. Part of the dice, which is a combat game mode. During combat, you'll be able to obtain random elemental dice by defeating monsters. Use the suppressive roll skill to consume all the dice you possess and unleash a shockwave that deals damage to nearby opponents, while oh. also granting you random buffs. More dice consumed matching the elemental type of the active character will result <laughs> just in one shot that guy with the shockwave. Shock and higher chances of obtaining more buffs. Okay, it seems like these are some special dice, so we'd better make good use of them. <laughs> yep, better. travelers will be happy to know that there are a variety of rewards waiting in these events. 
In addition to Primo gems and enhancement materials, rewards also include a new four-star bow called Ibis Piercer, Ooh. along with its exclusive refinement <gasps> materials. Yay! So exciting! That's <laughs> pretty. Right, that's all we have regarding the main event in the it's upcoming It's so small, version. though. Can I have bigger On picture, please? Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That may be all for the version events, but I still have something else to report. Oh, oh okay. In version 3.7, there will not only be a Genius Invocation event, but also a major update Yoni. to the TCG game itself. What? Oh, I'm so okay, thank you so awesome. much for the follow. What can we expect to see in the new update then? So in the upcoming version, yeah, many Archon new cards? cards will be added to Genius Invocation TCG, including character cards, monster cards, and action cards. Amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. And it's also noteworthy that the cards of the Animo, Geo, Electro, and Dendro Archons will also be available after the update. Ooh. So we can expect to see some incredible and fun new decks. Wait, this is nice. permanent, right? Okay, that's going to be quite the update. And there's more. So with so many the cards card better added, be broken. how could we fully enjoy them without some new game mode? So, in version 3.7, the Arena of Champions mode will be available too. And and what'll be different about this mode? Glad you asked. In this mode, travelers must use their deck to duel against each other and accumulate a total of five victories. Ooh. As you can imagine, that can be a Permanent serious Archons? test even for a seasoned duelist. Plus, God three cards. defeats will result in a failed challenge attempt, and you'll have to start all over. So, oh. if you're oh, no. feeling yeah, if you're feeling confident about your deck and your TCG skills, then be sure to come to the Cat's Tale and give it a shot. Okay, I'm scared. That sounds pretty intense. Would be I'm scared. For someone less experienced, you know, maybe like myself. <laughs> and me. <laughs> no worries, I got you. And me. Okay, so another TCG mode is called the Forge Realms Temper, which Ooh. will also be available. You'll be allowed to configure the difficulty of the game mode, as well as to choose from a bunch of additional conditions to score extra points. Okay, perfect. I'll definitely be picking some conditions that suit my decks the best. <laughs> What, what's what happening? Ma'am. <laughs> Ma'am. Ma'am. So Where's it coming from? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I got so caught up in listening to you two talking that I almost forgot that I'm on the job. Oh, I love her anyway, voice. Here I am. Aww. Aww. Oh, she's I so cute. I urgent delivery for you. Please sign here, and I'd really appreciate it if you could leave me a good review. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> so cute. <gasps> she can't just show up like that, and they're like, oh. Oh, look. Oh my gosh, look at the little chibis running above the code. Um, okay, yeah. So they're definitely trying to hype up TCG more because I think TCG kind of got forgotten about a little bit by a lot of people. Um, so they're definitely trying to bring it back, make it relevant. Um, which is fine. I'm fine with it. I, I wish I had more time to play tcg like if i if i had more time i would get into tcg i just don't completely fully understand it and i feel like i want to like really understand it well to actually like enjoy it um i just i just really have not invested in it everyone that pulls her is going to be bullied and called a furry Welcome back, i hope travelers. not our two special correspondents this time. Well, she's are not our first the animal uh, character. It's me. It's Jenny Okamori, the Yay! voice of Yoimiya. <gasps> Jenny! Everybody. I'm so excited to be here doing the special program. This is one of the most exciting moments of my life. Yay! Oh, I oh. love Jenny. Meowdy, travelers. I'm Julia. <laughs> I'm the Meowdy. With a new playable character, Kirara. Okay, Get so on. You were in a kitty box just now. Get so box. Thank you for that urgent delivery. <laughs> Yep, that's just Kirara's job. She is a courier like no other. Get More books. like courier. Oh, Ooh. No. Meowster for that. <laughs> oh, I love the girlies. Hear more about Kirara, I love the girlies together. Check her out first. Yay! Let's do it. Kirara. Oh, the scenery here is wonderful. <laughs> I've landed the perfect job. Oh, the little flip is so cute. I love the two tails. I think my favorite thing is oh my gosh, I want her, to be my best friend. her little like 
leg warmer fruit? things. That's so cute. <laughs> tails. Her I tails know. made a heart. That's the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Her tails I made know. a heart. Did you guys see her in the little box? It was like, oh, she coming. Oh, she coming. Also, her ult is like really cool. I want to so eat cute. the jellies. I want to like... eat those slimes. <laughs> Kiara works as a courier for Komania Express and often makes international deliveries. She's also a yokai from Inazuma called a Nekomata, and there's nothing she can't deliver. Oh, okay, that explains, like, the cute little kitty cat tails and why her shoes are, like, those cute little cat claws. They have, like, the toe beans at the bottom, and I want a pair. So, <laughs> I love Jenny actually, so uh, much. These are just her regular feet. Oh, what? I'm embarrassed. For Kiara, uh, even though she could use her yokai powers to have human feet, She's still a Nekomata and feels more comfortable using her own claws to move. That and makes her own sense, beans. they're so cute. And, and her really own are. beans. <laughs> and also, Kirara has two tails. Can you tell us anything about that? Mm. Oh, yeah. It, it's said that the tail represents a Nekomata's potential. So, with two tails, I guess this means that Kirara is a really powerful yokai. Some bandits might assume that Kirara is an easy target, thinking that it would be easy to steal a package from a young girl, Fools. but... <laughs> Fools. <laughs> they are fact, Fools. <laughs> And this mistake yes. always ends with the bandits running off and she is thrashing. I'm mm. obsessed with this. So She's awesome. Just little <laughs> kitty cat girl boss. <laughs> like, okay, and having her as your courier basically, like, determines that your package is going to get there safe. That is incredible service. True. Oh, yeah, no doubt about Amazon that. Amazon should hire Kirara her. Kirara is a very responsible worker and will do her best to ensure every order she receives is delivered. Of course... If the client can spare a meowment, she doesn't mind receiving a good review. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute and diligent. I would definitely give her an extra tip right on the spot. Absolutely. Like, catnip, fish, mora, whatever she wants. <laughs> okay, so how did a yokai from Inazuma end up working as a delivery person? What is, what's the, what's the line there? Okay, well, if you think about it, the yokai in Inazuma do seem to have a mix of jobs. So, yeah. well, speaking of which, even though Kiara is a strong yokai, she does care about her work and enjoys her job. She also enjoys human society, fashion, going to places she's never had the chance to visit before. Her deliveries give her a way into human society and also mm. allows her to explore new places. To her, Cute. working is basically like getting to take a series of uh, <clears throat> expense-free trips. <laughs> I Wait, love her you know color what I just palette. Realized? Charlotte is technically traveling for work too. So maybe they can get together and enjoy some expense free outings. Cool. Okay, I think Besties. everyone is waiting to learn more about this yokai courier's abilities. Yes. Absolutely, yes, correct. Mm, for sure. Let's move into Kirara's ah. skills. Oh. <laughs> Kirara is a Dendro Element Sword user and okay. can effectively assist her companions while also making world exploration <gasps> more efficient. The little hair okay, flip. Her attacks look amazing. The little She's hair flip was so like cute. Cat using its claws. I love it. <laughs> yeah, she is a Nekomata after all. She using Amanoma. Her exploration talent allows her to move near birds or other smaller animals without startling them. Ooh, She's another non startling one. <laughs> That's so cool. So it's we just got one so recently with Yao Yao. Like raw meat and easier to hunt. Yeah, watch out, Timmy. Timmy should watch his back. Oh, <laughs> Timmy yeah, should Timmy. watch his no. back. Yes, Timmy. No. Sorry. Sassed me. <laughs> well, she's always going to keep you well fed, no matter the means. Uh, by tapping her elemental skill, Kirara creates a dendro shield that can protect her from harm. Okay. Okay, shields are great. They'll keep both her and the delivery safe. Is it a good shield? <laughs> <laughs> and holding down the elemental skill will not only grant shields, but also put Kirara in a unique state. Cool. A little so pause the on the ground. That, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I need you to immediately tell me more about it right meow. <laughs> oh, no problem at all. Thank you, yes. In this state, Kirara will deal dendro damage upon slamming into enemies, but more uniquely, this state will also drastically increase her movement and climbing speed, along with her jumping ability. Okay, um, that sounds okay. Really useful. So, just so I can get this straight... New exploration <laughs> team. ...climb straight up walls? Oh, yeah, she'll be able to go straight up a vertical surface in this state. Or a um, shield over by your shield? Okay. Well, that's amazing. The best. Thing I cry. <laughs> she's gonna be so. Good is Baiju a box? And I guess that's one of the reasons why she's a trustworthy courier. Wait, she just went like 
And finally, with her elemental burst, Over the she roof. smashes the enemy with a special delivery package, which then explodes into numerous small dendro bombs. Huh. These bombs will then explode Boom. upon contacting enemies or after a duration. Okay, so damage. basically and little blooms. The fact Christopher, thank the you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Because I'm obsessed with that. <laughs> and yeah. so cute. So cute. She has kitty styled attacks, kitty styled deliveries, and she also has kitty styled. She's going bombs. on the Kave team, honestly. Amazing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little she bomb is team. Adorable. So, aside from Kirara running to various nations making deliveries, I also heard about another one of our friends leaving their home to explore the world. Ooh, so who wants to go on a trip? Oh my gosh, wait, is it you and Mia? Because you guys are like looking <laughs> oh, at me, a humble oh. PNG. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Maybe. Well, I think you might be knowledgeable about traveling across nations because you have information on Yoimiya's story quest. I totally do. I was just being a little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the Sakoku Decree has been repealed for some time now, and Yoimiya has been wanting to go out and see the outside world. In version 3.7, the second act to Yoimiya's Karasius Arata story quest is about to begin! Woohoo! She will be embarking on a globe trotting adventure, heading to Sumeru, the nation of wisdom, Wait. alongside the traveler. Whoop, whoop. It's a pretty Sorry, I was part, distracted. But, I mean, act two? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it too. Not that I'm biased or anything. I seriously cannot wait to experience what happens in the 3.7 update. And, uh, uh huh. And you know, traveling with a girl is easygoing. She's the pyro gentle, archon. Cool. <laughs> Confirmed. Not that I'm biased or anything, as Yoimiya <laughs> will be a joy. I think she's probably like, Is that why the she's best, been only like, running alongside Archons? Again, not biased or anything. <laughs> but to ensure that everyone gets the most out of this story quest, I'm gonna be a good bean and I will not say any spoilers. That way our travelers get the chance to explore. A good bean. I'll be good. <laughs> okay. But that's, when? That, that's nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. It all makes see. sense now. <laughs> <laughs> but when the time comes. I hope Yoimiya's new story can brighten everyone's day, just like she always does. This is interesting. Yeah. Okay. For okay. Sure. And we're not biased. No, not no. biased. No, none of us. Just she's the first character to get an act honest. two. Honest. <laughs> I want to say also, yes. Like, speaking of honesty, I was honestly wondering what new companions can travelers invite for their teams in version 3.0. Maybe she's the pirate right. archon's child. That takes us to our event wishes. True, we've never met her I mom. Think this is something our travelers are always interested in. So for further details about 3.7's event wishes, please direct your attention to the big screen. Ta-da! No! Wh where did that come from? Oh, I just remembered that we're today's reporters. <clears throat> what? Oh, okay. According to reliable sources, the first half of 3.7's event wishes will boost drop rates hey. for Yoimiya and Yaimiko. She's At not... At the same time, Kirara will also be making her debut in these event wishes. So travelers mm. who want Kirara might okay. want to take note. And the second half of version 3.7's event wishes will see Kaidahara, Kazuha, and no. them getting their own reruns. Sarah, why are you talking like that? Because we're reporters. No. Thank no. Sarah. With the help of their no. companions, we hope that all our travelers will be able to keep happily exploring Tavad. And now to Jenny with the weather. The weather is still weather. Anyways, <laughs> when travelers follow Yoimiya to Sumeru, they might also encounter their old friend Kave. Hi. This is <gasps> Hangout. Hangout event will also be available yes! in season 3.7. Yes. Oh, you yeah, bet I'm doing this instantly. From Sumeru. Yeah, and Kave is quite the character. Even though he seems Bro. super carefree, he has Why does Kirara have to be in the first half? To. I'm sure as we spend time with him during the hangout, we'll get to know him a lot better. Oh, we're going to be besties. But I do time. want you, Mia. <laughs> So travelers interested no, in No Eula. That's crazy. What is that like 12 patches? Definitely something about to Eula? To. Yay. Ooh. Yeah. Woo. Now that we've covered the new stories coming our way, I think we can move on to some news about other fun events coming in version 2.7. Oh, 3. what 7. a pretty castle. What do you think? I think that's a very good idea, Yay. Sarah, my friend. <laughs> is okay, this so um, not only are there events, but there will also be tons Is this the one where you can create your own stuff? Prizes too. Ooh, Ooh, I'm yeah. so excited. Why so soon for all hate so them? I don't know. So, without further ado, let I didn't think he was that event. big. In version 3.7, the Divine Ingenuity Collector's Chapter event will be available. Oh, I remember this event. This is the one that lets you design your own domain. I wonder if... Oh, that's, that's so cool. Right. However, I wonder if his banner did really well. I don't know. I haven't seen, like, and the development team has specifically designed stats for it or anything. To challenge and get used to the rules. 
For example, the first stage requires you to build a mechanic oh, it's to defend this the model. Wait. The second will be a coin collecting fiesta that everyone's familiar with. Mm. Why did okay, I think Divine Ingenuity the was the one where you create your own? Like the ones that other people had to go through. Wait, yeah. is this the same thing? As Just the updated? Stage, there will be multiple areas available, and everyone will be able to so get confused. a item. Artificer coins. I want it. Shao was on his banner. True. Thank you. These coins will allow people to buy various buffs from buff stations located. They're really putting in with the animal boys, aren't they? Nice. Okay, so we'll be able to keep getting stronger as we progress. Exactly. The okay, this is fun. Requires everyone to keep I like these. Alive while they go around collecting coins. The I like these types of events. A buff bestower device oh. capable of amplifying your opponent's capabilities. So you're gonna want to destroy Fished. that first before engaging them in battle. Oh, oh there's so much to do. Oh. Okay, so just wait. to confirm. We can use all of this while we're making our own oh, new babies. See, yes? this is stressful. Yes. <laughs> this is stressful to me. I like just I like just doing them. I don't want to build it. <laughs> are active per room and opponent settings. Even buffs oh. and buff bestowers can be placed inside these stages. Wait, you, that's so cool. Okay, so it sounds ah. like the travelers will have even more creative freedom this time around. So I'm not going to put any I'm thought process into making my domain. I'm just going to use their imagination say and sprinkle as much creativity as random stuff go. Designs, you yeah. know, a little bit here, a little bit there, a whole lot of traps. <laughs> well, <laughs> you're in game and then play it. Also sprinkle some ingenuity as well. Get it? That's, Get it? <laughs> that's literally what I just said. Ingenuity, traps, tomato, tomato. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, traps. Sure, as long as it's creative. Chaos. Oh dear. <laughs> uh, this time, there will also Jenny be is my spirit animal. I love mode. her so much. So if there's a stage you can't beat on your Chaos. own, you can bring your friends and try the challenges, oh. or uh, fall into Jenny's traps together. Yeah. I want to play Jenny's remember, Jenny's domain. domain. Also, must clear their own designs before they'll be able to share them with others. Okay, seriously, True. how do people clear some of these stages? They seem like they're going to be really difficult. Uh, can't wait to see envy troll answer, everybody with his domains. <laughs> Yeah, that's I don't know fair. if you guys have seen, but there are videos out there of people showcasing their own stages, and it's crazy. It's amazing. Oh, absolutely. So, I hope all our creative travelers out there won't miss this event. Remember to share your codes or videos and let everyone play your domains. Traps. Oh, dear. Okay, Traps. so next, we have a challenge event oh. called the Feast of the Departed Warriors. Ooh, combat. A mysterious domain has appeared near the Falcon Coast. And its depths are crawling with powerful foes. Travelers will need to rely on their martial prowess to defeat them and earn rewards. Ooh, mm, martial prowess. <laughs> I thought so too. Honestly, <laughs> combat events are anyway, my favorite this events. Event should be one that many travelers are familiar with. However, let me give a quick overview for anyone who oh. might not have seen this one yet. Thank you, Sarah. This event has three types of dangerous adversaries awaiting our travelers. They're each based on the Thunder Manifestation, Eon Blight Drake, and the Bethysmal Bishop Herd, respectively. Based? Travelers can also add additional what does conditions based mean? to their difficulty multiplier in this challenge. Hello, Jacob. With Welcome increased in. difficulty, resulting in greater rewards. Okay, I, I think I get the gist of this one. Eh? I heard Thunder Manifestation, and my heart stopped a little bit. Why does that so look so complicated? Closer, oh, I kind of remember this, actually. The increased difficulty, but I hope everyone's ready for a challenge. <laughs> Looks like it could be tough. Don't worry, travelers can still get you know what? rewards and materials by completing the challenge on lower difficulties, including primo gems. Can I just say something? You guys know what Yoimiya rerun means, right? It means we're getting Thunder Manifestation in Spiral Abyss again. I just would like to mentally prepare everybody for that. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. We continue. Travelers who are looking for a real challenge can try the higher difficulties for a Maybe I will pull for her. I heard lower <laughs> Maybe I will pull, again, pull for Yoimi. I'm so sick of this. <laughs> Let's move on to the next event. I'm so tired okay, of it. Okay, so this one is another returning event for version 3.7 called Phase Trials Hypothesis. So maybe some of you remember Jammy, the Sumeru researcher who was struggling Jamie? with his thesis proposal. Well, this time, he needs your help as observers in an experiment. He's just We're pretty sure all are warm-hearted and friendly oh, I remember that now. will give him a hand. <laughs> also, as a I started girl, thinking of the thesis sentence. guy um, from Star Rail. The experiment also offers rewards upon completion. Of course we're gonna help him. She's Besides, a Genshin favorite. She really is. Help, so but then they keep, exactly. they keep 
right? Screwing so, her over I by mean, putting her on travelers are honorary knights Archon of the banners. Knights so Tricolia, I'm glad that um heroes who have assisted the Liyue Qixing as well as uh, actually I'm, I'm glad that they're just yeah. running her with Yai. <laughs> So, Pretty much everybody at this point, I think. Yeah. Like I know Yai is very popular, well, but she's not an archon at least. Just another walk in the park. Okay, so during the event, travelers can defeat enemies to gain phase tinctures. When to get enough tinctures. phase tinctures, they can use them to enter the time dilation stage. Yes. In this oh, stage, I they love this one. The weaknesses of their opponents mid battle and select opportune moments to capture more weaknesses yeah. in their opposition before using their super sense skill to deal massive damage. Ooh, having the ability to detect weaknesses is very helpful when facing challenges. Not to mention, the damage dealt by this super sense skill is pretty incredible. Oh, oh it's really yeah. cool. <laughs> I mean, that sounds really useful. It can take care of wow. opponents in a snap. You know, Get like taking a picture. Oh, wow. I didn't wow. know <laughs> you were going to be channeling your inner Sino. I didn't know. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, but remember, this event requires you to use the corresponding trial characters for the challenge. Ooh, good! Okay, this way, everyone will be able to try out more characters. Exactly! Okay, there's seriously so much for all of us to experience in version 3.7. Love trial and, characters. <laughs> oh, would you look at the time? Ooh, Dia oh, and a Mono yeah. Pyro team. Okay, the third redemption Love to see is it. coming right up. Let's have a look together. Here's your Yula. Okay, oh. you're ready. Whoop, whoop. Bum, 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 bum. Last code. Ooh! <gasps> That's such a pretty art. Look at Cause. Look at you and Mia. She looks so cute. Oh my gosh. I love I love Genshin art so much. I need to learn how to draw better so I can make it. Your Mia rerun means that 3.8 is gonna jump straight to Fontaine. Has that been the pattern? I thought Yoimiya Mia ran with um with Nahida last time. Or was she that one where she ran like super close to herself? Yeah, I could be the new Archon like Venti was to Barbados, if you remember Venti telling us he wasn't an Archon back in the days of Barbados. And that's ah, the end of today's yes. report. It seems like all our reporters have returned to the studio now, which means we've reached the conclusion of our program. Ah, this has been so much already? fun. I can't believe it's over already. That's it? It happened so fast. I know. <laughs> I wish we had even more to share. So, no, so, Charlotte. How did no. you all enjoy the Charlotte being on teaser. the program today? The Charlotte oh my teaser. Gosh, it has been so so cool being on the program, and oh, I can't wait for people to hear Kirara. Oh, she's so cute. I just she is ah. so cute. <laughs> wait, seriously, this is so much fun. I've been wanting to do one of these programs for the we longest still have, like, time, and I'm a so excited left. that I get to be here and talk about you and Mia. And also, I'm super excited for Julia and Maya to be joining the cast to welcome yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah, that did feel very fast. <laughs> It's about 30 minutes, so... Oh this my been gosh. Amazing. Oh, look at this our little sparkler. This has been so much fun today, and um, I am just also really excited for these mini games, mini events. Yeah. I'm so excited, yeah. especially the Evermotion mechanical painting. Mini games, big excitement. <laughs> mini games, yes. mini I primos. Just, I just love the puzzles. I just love them. <laughs> well, don't forget, there's a strange case to investigate at the tournament ground, so Ooh. players should be sure to check that out. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was happy to join the program with you all and share all these details about version 3.7 with everyone. So hope you all have a fantastic time in the upcoming update. All right, this is the end of our program. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Bye. Yay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Get out of. <laughs> Get out of. Get out of. Ayo. Ayo. Yes. 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 Yeah. Today I find myself No, shut up. <laughs> We're going back to watch that again. I'm going back. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going back. Fontaine has fish. <laughs> okay, I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back. I did, especially the ever 3.7 with every. <laughs> Swimming mechanic is what I'm thinking. Dude. Oh my.
fuck yeah. <laughs> Wait, how is that gonna work? How is that gonna diving mechanics? How is that gonna how are we gonna get like underwater stamina? Like can we drown? Like do we get a special like like gadget that lets us breathe underwater or something? Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. That's that was the best part. That was the best part of the whole thing. That was amazing. <laughs> that was perfect. Um that was pretty sick. 